Welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This one's on the Curvature tool. It's like the pen tool, but it's slightly different. If you want to watch the pen tool tutorial first and then come to this one, that might make a bit more sense if you're brand new to these tools. Um, first off, it's, it's in the toolbar. It's next to the pen tool, Curvature tool. The shortcut for it is Shift and the tilde key which took me a little while to figure out what that was actually called that squiggly line on my keyboard it's a mac keyboard it's next to the z to the left of the z key but um it's got various locations on different keyboards so we're gonna go ahead and shift in the tilde key you might get an x uh, crosshair on the screen if you've got a uh, caps lock you might get something that looks like this pen with the squiggly line coming out of it so if you want to follow along the artboard as usual if you're familiar with my tutorials is 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high um, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to an artboard I've already done I've got a couple of shapes which are gonna help me explain how to use this tool so first off I'll just zoom in a bit I'm gonna go ahead and click shift and tilde and this is the curvature tool I'm gonna to start by just clicking now I click and it makes me a dot. If you hover over it and the circle there, it doesn't actually do anything just yet until we draw something else. So I'm gonna just click over here. Now it's drawn a straight line. That's not actually my line at the minute. It's just the straight line between these two anchor points. And as you can see, different to the pen tool, it's predicting me a curve. It's giving me the smoothest possible curve. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click a few times and you're gonna see I've got a white fill color so I'm just gonna go ahead and dump that white fill color. I'm gonna get, give myself a stroke fill color of let's say 100% magenta and my stroke weight is one pixel so you can see this a bit better. Now similar to the pen tool when I come to the end you see a circle, but you can see how much difference it makes. It changes not just one anchor point, it'll change two or three anchor points. And then once that shape is completed, without having to press the direct select tool, that's the other difference. If it, this was a pen tool, I'd have to hit A now and go along to each one of these and change them, change the handles manually. But on this one, you just stick with the pen tool and you just go to each one and move them around. Now the big advantage, I'll be honest, I've never really used this tool before, but I'm actually thinking I might change my workflow a bit when I'm doing illustrations because when you move these points, it doesn't just change the handles, the curvature of each anchor point. It changes a couple of points and it just smooths it all out for you. If I was to, let's take this shape and shrink it down a bit. If I was to draw this shape with just the pen tool, so let me lock this down with Command 2 and hit the pen tool or P, I'd click a point, and I've used the pen tool for years, so I'm relatively good with it. So I go along, round this shape, and do each handle individually. It takes me a few seconds going around see now I have to I made a mistake I have to go back one that's not kind of working out so I'm gonna to have to come back to it and then I'm back at the start and this isn't perfect by any means so if I change the color to orange in fact something a bit more contrasting orange I then have to go back and work each point and I'll work that make that shorter and I will get there but it is slower. I did, let me show you this shape down here. I'll get rid of that. I drew this shape and I did actually do a time test to trace this with the pen tool, which took me 124 seconds. And then I used the curvature tool. It took me 56 seconds, which is a big saving, 30 seconds saving in time on a simple illustration. That's a lot. Um, so let's go ahead and keep using it. So 
again shift and the tilde we're going to go around this one i'm going to show you a few more elements to it i'll just lock that one down so you can go around it and just click 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 i'll go ahead and change this stroke color again to a 100 percent magenta and i just roughly click around it now where with the pen tool i'd have to go and change each anchor point i can and change the handles on each anchor point i can double click these points to make them sharp so if i don't want a curvature here i just double click it you can't really tell here but if i i think you'll be able to tell if i do it that there you go so you can see that now if i zoom in it's taken the curve off but the great thing is, I just double click it if I want that curve to go back in. It's more useful if, for example, I wanted to do a square, roughly do a square. I just double click these points. And it takes the curves out. But then I can go back in and add the curves back in. So it's got, it's a much faster workflow. If I go back to this stroke here, back to the tool I can then start if I want to take one out I can just hit delete if, it, if I'm not happy with where they are double click as the curve in adds the curve in there bring it in bring the curve to here bring this curve over here and it's much quicker that the computers working it out for me rather than me having to go to each point and play around with the handles. I literally, I would normally encourage you with the pen tool to use as few anchor points as possible, but with this one, you can kind of use as many as you like because it smooths out the path for you. So we'll keep going around and you can see it takes a lot of the, not guesswork out of it, but a lot of the uncertainty away. And there you go, if I transfer that across the fill color, it's a decent shape. I'll show you the workflow on this one. So, let me lock this shape down. Press Command 2. Start using it again. I need that stroke color. Illustrator cleverly selects the last shape style that you've been using. And go around. So this is a good example of the double click. I want that point to be sharp. So just double click, it takes it out. I zoom in, this isn't quite where I want it. So I can just, as I click and drag, it's adding me in a point and that's it, it's done. A very quick workflow. I, I don't really have to worry too much about my accuracy. So I get the initial shape in there. If this is a logo you're doing from a sketch, you could quickly go around the sketch and then just fine tune these points once the shape's on there. And you don't have to worry about how smooth it is because it's going to work it out for you. So I'll stop there with that one. Now one thing, a few of the, there are other tutorials on the curvature tools, but one thing they seem to have missed off is if you do actually use the pen tool, the normal pen tool, to make a shape like that let's move it over a bit you can then select the shape with V hit the curvature tool and then it converts these to curvature tool paths without handles so that means if you've got an existing illustration you're not quite happy with and you're you haven't smoothed out your angles quite right, uh, quite correctly, you can go ahead and use the curvature tool to your advantage. And then you can click the pen tool and you can go back into these anchor points. If I direct select with A, I can then go back to the pen tool and I can take points out, add points in. Um, I can move them around with the direct select tool. I can change the handles. So if I make this angle not quite right and think, oh, I can't get the angle right on this curve, I can use the curvature tool. I can take 
out that point I can add it back in and it's going to make it a smooth curve it's going to figure these curves out so that's the advantage of the curvature tool it's working the curves out for you and you get if you're used to using the pen tool you'll know sometimes if we work on on this section here and I quickly use the pen tool let me uh, just lock it down command 2 to lock so if I use the pen tool I'm going around the shape and this is a good example because they're not entirely smooth curves uh, again with the stroke and then I would alt click bearing in mind I've been using the pen tool for some 17 years I've never used the curvature tool but you can see, just if I lower the stroke a bit to sort of 0.5 pixels, you can see that's not that's not smooth at all. It's not even in the right place. I'd have to click those anchor points, move them millimeter by millimeter, you know, half pixels we're talking about to make it look good. It's still not right. But using that curvature tool, I can add in these points and I don't really have to worry about figuring out the angles. Sometimes it doesn't work perfectly, but in that case, you just sort of take them out, add them back in. Keep adding till you're happy. Will I use it? I think I will. I think if I'm working on big illustration projects, it's definitely going to be something I would add to my workflow. I would definitely recommend it on big illustration projects where you're going to be doing a lot of anchor points to improve your workflow um, so that's been the curvature tool I would recommend watching the pen tool and you can then see the differences between the two but workflow improved with the curvature tool I hope this was useful please like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time